What's up, chess gang? All right. Let's see if we can do better today. Playing as black against Learned Fun Man from France? Netherlands. Close. Yeah, so I lost 40 ELO yesterday. I, went, I lost those two games in the videos. And then I tried to find Retribution and just ended up losing three more games. So I kind of got tilted yesterday <laughs> after the losses <laughs> and kept on playing anyway. <laughs> I really shouldn't have done that. But that's a bad habit I need to break. Um, we take. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I need to not play if I get tilted like that. That's uh, really bad. Uh, let's see. I think the move is f67 if he pushes his pawn up, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong here, but... I wasn't really sure what the response to the pawn f3 move was, so... I don't see that too often. Fantasy variation. I'm not really used to playing against this one. We'll see how it goes. I think the idea here is to get the bishop out onto g4 and just target the queen and trade bishops off. I think that's the idea. Oh, also, if he pushes e5, I guess there is always d5 with the knight, too. Yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Okay, he takes the knight out, so I think it's pretty fair to just pin the knight. Get the light square bishop out. I guess I did... I guess I did have a free pawn there, didn't I? Hmm. Yeah, I think the idea here is to, instead of taking the free piece, it's better to develop. I think that's the idea, so d5 probably seems okay. Now his knight is still pinned, and I guess we really only attack with the bishop uh, once h3 comes out or his knight moves. So, probably d5 here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there was anything I could have done with queen a5 here, like with the checks. Yeah, I still think this is better than capturing the pawn strictly because the uh, the bishop is developed. At this point, we can probably just play e6 and castle. Yeah, probably e6 is fine here. This just adds a defender to the knight, which is probably good for him. I guess I do have this interesting fork here. I don't know if that's worth it, though. I think it's too early. I think it's better to just develop and just play soundly. Yeah, e3 is kind of an interesting move. Hmm. 
Yeah, so e3 is not really a move anymore. I wonder if c5 is better here. Yeah, I'm debating between bishop e7 or pawn c5. I had a game, uh, Blitz, uh, uh, was it? No, one of the rapid games I played yesterday. Uh, I got into a really tough position when the opponent got their pawn out onto c5. In the dark square. Bishop was not on the board. Mm, I'm almost tempted to just play. I'm tempted just to bring the knight out first, but mm, c5. I think I'm just going to play c5. I think it's the move to play. I do need to be careful, though, here. I do need to castle because... I'm kind of exposed here along this light square diagonal and I can't bring my bishop back. I can only really block in with the knight here. I guess here and here. I think c5 is fine. Yeah, he probably wants to, I'm guessing, hop his, or protect his knight here. Or excuse me, protect his pawn with the knight. That's what I'm trying to say. But, um, so let's see, take, takey, takey. Um, I could also just get the knight out as well. Hmm. I think I'm just going to take d4. That seems to be the big idea. In this position, I, th I really need to develop, though. Okay. So my bishop's under attack here. Thinking it's just better to take this knight at this point. I don't know, maybe there's some sense in moving it back to f5. I could always... No, I can't really attack this queen. You have to do something about this piece. Uh, where do we want to go? Take the knight? Take the knight. Take the knight or go back to f5. It's a good question. So his bishop will come out to f3. He's going to have two attackers on d5 then again i have two defenders hmm. take the knight hmm. i'm just going to trust my gut on this one It's never failed me before. <laughs> Hello.
Learn fun, man. Okay, I was expecting that. So at this point, can either go attack his queen. I have no doubt he's going to go over to g4 if I do that. The dreaded g file. I think he's going to go g4 if I try to attack his queen. Can deliver a pointless check on b4 with the bishop. Hmm. I guess I could check. Trade these off and castle if we want to play it somewhat safer. But it'll just block in with a pawn. Hmm. Take, take, I just want to castle. Uh, I have a feeling the G file is going to get abused. I just have a feeling about it. Oh, this check is going to be an interesting move. Oh, interesting. Okay. I see. I see. Oh, I do have like a really slick pin if I can if I can get my bishop over here. That'll be really slick. I almost don't want to castle. I almost just want to go for this instead. Yeah, that'd be a really sick pin. Hmm. Wonder which move is like less inconspicuous. The queen move. Actually, I'm just going to move my queen over here to c7. And then I'm going to just look for this pin. That would be pretty slick. If he moves his queen, it's going to... Uh, it might actually be okay for me to tell you the truth, because I'm still going to have the check anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I can always just check and then move over. Or would I want to check that way? I'm not sure. Uh, joy fun. Oh, dang, there goes that plan. Uh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I can't really go this way anymore, can I? Uh, it's a bit of a bummer. That would have been a really good plan, I feel like. Hmm. Eh, really didn't want to lose a dark square bishop, but what can you do? I guess I can always still try pinning the queen and just trading off with the pawn or something. Mm, well, no sense in belaboring this. He will have this annoying check here. Maybe we just trade queens off. Well, I guess if he checks, I can always just bring my queen back to c6. I did see I didn't see that knight move coming. That would have been I wonder if I should have castled first and then tried to go for that. 
Meh, who knows. I played that exact same setup in a Blitz game like two or three days ago and it actually worked really well. I think it's okay so far. I mean, I'm up a pawn, which is good, but I need to castle. I need to castle and then just connect the rooks. <clears throat> oh no. The dreaded uh, whatever you call this. <laughs> oh boy. Well, there goes my whole my whole thing. Okay, let's see if we can actually do something here. So we have some options. We have the check, he blocks in, you know, I can take check and then what? If he blocks, if he blocks in, I have to give him check again. The dreaded queen g7. This is so poetic for so many reasons. <laughs> I don't have a knight over here, so I can't go g8. Um, I don't know, I probably have to move move the rook back. I can try to offer the trade too, but I don't think it's very good. I think that's much worse. Yeah, it's like the check and then what though. Can't go there. Yeah, this check just seems really bad. I feel like I just have to go like rook f8 or something. Okay, now what? Okay, the rook's got to go somewhere. Losing this pawn. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting worse at this game the more I play it. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> Is that is that weird to think about? <laughs> I almost have mate here. <laughs> Should I try the mate in one or just play like a normal human being? Wouldn't that be so funny? He didn't see that. It's weird. Sometimes I do feel like I'm regressing in this game. <laughs> Um, thank you, sir. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's weird. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> um, how does he protect mate in one here? I don't think he does. Sanity check. 
Okay. <laughs> Maybe he heard my thoughts and felt bad for me. <laughs> GG learn fun man. Wow, learn fun man. You gave up maiden one in the very last move. You're hired. <laughs> Welcome to the team. <laughs> Let's see the game review here. Yeah, he had a really big advantage there. After he got the G7 pawn, he got the really big advantage. Okay, so yeah, I wasn't sure if E4 was a book move. Um so it looks like taking back. Okay. So e5 is the move after this. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's that's new to me. I guess that makes sense. Um, so we can just trade queens off, and then he gets a much worse position. Okay. Yeah, for, first time I've uh, played against this, I believe it's called Fantasy Variation. First time I'm seeing it, so I'm going to make a mental note that e5 is the play against this. Um, Yeah, I should have taken the free pawn. Hmm. Bishop was a mistake here. Okay, good to know, good to know. Looks like d5 was good, though. Yeah, I should have went for this fork, huh? I was talking about that during the game. That was, like, kind of a nice opportunity. To just uh snag his light square bishop. So what would he have to do? Well, I guess I can just push show moves, huh? Oh, that way. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, mental note. Okay. Wow, so I had a really good position here. I didn't even know it. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I just thought it was such an early move to go knight e3. But I guess in this case, if he locks in his bishop and his queen is uh, forced to move and it only uh, she only has well, like one square to go. Yeah, it's a really powerful fork here. I didn't even uh, didn't even think about that. No, b5. Okay. I'm glad taking with the pawn was the idea. I'm glad this was the idea. I wonder if the engine recommends anything else here. No, the engine does recommend that. Okay, cool. This is a mistake. Attacking the queen. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Good move here by him. Oh, offering the queen trade. Man, all these ideas. Queen g7, a really powerful move. I'd have to agree. <laughs> I tend to agree. And then he just threw it down the toilet. <laughs> well, that was a fun game. I wish it would have went on for a little bit longer. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I know I got a lot of I I got a um a, a really hard time about protecting Queen G7 in yesterday's game and um I think this is just kind of the reason why um I'm not trying to make excuses or anything but um I just tend to have a harder time when the queen il infiltrates this G file um I don't know I guess it's just easier for me to play with the king castle uh, on the king side. Yeah, I just kind of know myself historically speaking. When um, when this situation happens, my games tend to fall apart. So I'm just more comfortable castling the king. So that's just just the idea here. Um, but maybe it's not always the case. But yeah, I don't think most opponents would just throw away the game uh, at the end like this. So. But anyways, um, yeah, GG, learn fun, man. Thanks for the game, appreciate it. And thanks guys for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next one.